blessed. You are surrounded by nothing. Black, shadowy, nothing. You cannot move your head, nor look in any which way, though even if you could, you know it wouldn't matter. But slowly, in front of you, you see a drop of water fall, drift to what could be ground if you could see it. Seconds pass of you watching it drift ah! and drift. drift until it silently splatters across the ground. What the fuck? And suddenly lights flash violently in front of your eyes. Visions, visions, visions of things you've never seen before. A tower exploding massive insides, toppling downwards, downwards, downwards into an endless ocean with lightning ripping through the sky, a smiling face through the clouds came out towards hell, fire, death, castle, walls, impossibly tall, a blotted out sun above you, leaving you in this shadowy hellscape. You hear a scream and struggling against the door, bashing against it with incoherent mumbling, rippling through the other side. So all around you, to right in front of you, is a door, a massive door that you can't stop walking towards. It is everything you've ever needed. Behind this one door is life without despair, without despair, without despair you grab the handle and turn it and pull and pull and pull and rip it off its hinges and watch the the lunar eclipse on the other side oh it's it's okay now you're sitting on the grass but the moon isn't lauding the sun today. You just can't make out what that thing is. Does it even have a face? Where am I? Why? Why? That is the last thing you wonder before the world fades away. And you wake up soaked in sweat. The sun awfully bright today. Today, spring is in full effect. Beautiful green trees surround you, finally getting their leaves back after so long. A light chill is in the air from the breeze, but it is so heavily welcome with the sun being, you know, the brightest it's been in a long time. Really warm. A beautiful day, really, in an area so untouched by people. <laughs> Very nice forest. Uh, Wes, what would you like to do? Just give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Where am I? <laughs> uh, you've been uh, walking uh, just straight forward like you wanted to for the longest time. Yeah. Uh, that was a weird dream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, just quick, I probably won't use the West voice outside of that's okay. talking, if that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, West gets up off the grass and takes in the sight around him. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, it, it's, as I said before, it's a beautiful day. Uh, mm -hmm. the sun's actually like, gliding perfectly through the branches, like directly onto your face. Um, there's a bit of like wildlife around you can see like little like foxes and uh, you see like this one rabbit kind of like hopping along. It's wow. really happy outside. It's really nice. That was horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... <laughs> I'm just so lost. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, it's okay. You're all good. Um, is there any path where I am? Um, not a very laid out one. Uh, you've really been just going straight. <laughs> going straight. <laughs> um, I suppose. You have, like, I assume I, you like set something up to make sure you know which way is straight still before you went to bed. It's oh so... yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he little, can like, tell on arrow. the sides of the trees. Yeah, he can tell by the. Yeah, I'm assuming he he would be underneath a tree. Then he'd remember yeah. which direction he came from. Um, that sounds good. Well, I suppose Wes grabs his his bearings, gets all ready, and continues heading north. All right. Well. You walk, and you walk for a while, actually, um, about eight more hours, and you're about to even, like, settle down uh, again. Just been a long day, hard dream, uh, but walking through the forest, you actually watch the trees begin to disperse and disappear as you come across a wide, plain grassland, one with a large walled city off in the distance. Um, these Whoa. walls, you see, are made of a basic cobble with steel shields lining them and a massive wooden door at the end of this dirt road uh you actually see a ways away um atop the walls are you see people with like steel armor and bows and hand and le the bows are like also like leaning on the parapets and directly in front of the gates are two more people in these steel suits of armor uh both with like these swords at their hip uh appearing to be conversing through the quiet day whoa <laughs> <laughs> Metal. Do you approach? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. All right. Uh, you make your way forward, uh, eventually like getting onto the dirt road and just walking straight to the uh, guards in front of the gate. So are the guards uh, like like all the way up here? Or are they like uh, over here where I am on the map? Uh, they're uh, probably, uh, probably right where you are right now. Yeah? Okay. Um, there's like a there's like a little littler gate right here, and then like a massive wooden ah. door forward. Um, yeah. All right. So you start to walk forward, and uh, one of the guards uh, approach. You can't really see their face or anything uh, through their armor, uh, but they put the hand on their sword and walk forward a bit. Um, what can I do you for? Uh. I am looking for someone. And All right. Wes takes this little doodle out of his uh out of his satchel. It's like a really really bad doodle of Aphir. And and he's like This Aphir, my husband, uh he is missing. I am looking for him. Um I've personally never seen this uh, man before, but uh, make your way through. You might be able to find someone inside the city. Mm. Uh, looks at the other guard. They nod and start to open the gate. Mm. Um, on you go. Okay, I I walk through the gate. Just cool. Just, uh, you with, watch it uh... close behind you. Hmm? Hmm? You just watch it close behind you. Okay. Um, and you begin walking through the city. Uh, the buildings on the outside aren't too special. Um, all, well, most made out of stone. There are some like little wood like huts and hovels on the outside, but uh, lots of stone uh, buildings as you as you look forward are, are very nicely wooden uh, areas. The f farther you get and closer you get to the actual walls. Um, people are kind of like walking back and forth right now. There's like a, a sort of cobbly dirt path, but mostly dirt path um, going between every every which way. Um, yeah. Is uh, anybody um, looking at me? Uh, you get a couple looks in, in, in glances, but it looks like in at least in this specific area, it's not the weirdest thing they've they've seen. Okay. Um, uh, but you do get a couple looks um, from humans. Like particularly, as you as you start to walk through, um, and I assume you're 
just asking around as you go? Yeah. Uh, roll me an investigation check. Seventeen. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Uh, you approach a couple people. They're like, oh, I have no idea. Uh, this other. Uh, just like go from group to group and it, it's a little rough at first you're like well I, I, this isn't going to why well, I might go inside the you know inside the gates and eventually you stop uh, and ask this one uh, woman who's sitting down outside one of the buildings with a with a cup in front of her uh, and she looks up um I, I, I haven't um seen him I'm sorry but um maybe um there's a, a tavern further up. You might be able to find someone that knows something there. Mm. I, I know there's, there's, there's a woman there uh, uh, underneath that uh, knows a lot of things out here. Mm. Thank you. It's, uh, it's called the Copper Dragon. Uh, I've never went underneath. I don't know how, but I, I know there's a way. Nods. All right. Uh, I suppose I'm heading for the. Co Can I see the copper dragon from here, or do I have to ask around? Uh, you don't have to ask around. You you just start walking, and eventually you'll see a sign. Oh, um, okay. As, as you go, um, it's about where you are, right there. Okay. Um, as you see a very nice wooden building in probably what looks like the poorest area of the city. <laughs> Um, very rustic. Um, uh, this like dark wood lines the walls and whatnot, and you you can't really see through the glass almost as if it's uh, been painted a little darker, um, painted even, uh, with this uh, small door right in front, hmm. uh, already open, as if you know trying to welcome more people to the tavern. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, also, by now it's around six p.m. And you do see people like walking in and out of it. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty popular. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll head inside then. All right. Um, you walk inside. And one second. <laughs> uh, big time rush is clogging up my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. My plan worked. <laughs> um. And, uh... I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> because you can still hear my mic in the recording during the part when I'm muted, you can hear me go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> you go, ah! <laughs> I screamed really early on. Okay. <laughs> and I the book like three times. <laughs> I'm not cutting that out. Holy shit. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> um, all right. Um, you walk in. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, and as you walk in, you see like these chandeliers uh, atop, like above you. Um, small wooden tables, nothing like massive, not nothing for like large groups of people. Um, the it seems like the whole aesthetic is like this darker, more definitely rustic uh, wood touching of everything. There's no like rugs or anything either. Uh, little candles line on every table, and directly to the right of you, when you walk in, you see uh, this dragonborn. Uh, older looking dragonborn um, uh, who is uh, copper. Very, very interesting Ooh. look. Uh, he has this very shiny um, copper coloring all to his entire like, uh, body uh, in a way that you've never seen before. Uh, I don't think you've ever seen a dragonborn before. Nope. <laughs> uh, so... As you, like you kind of <laughs> kind of like start off for a moment and you see him like uh pouring people's drinks and whatnot and uh just doing having uh giving like pl uh platters of, of drinks to like uh this one like a uh, barmaid who's like going around giving stuff to everybody it's very popular very exciting um you also see in the back like left corner there's this uh little band playing uh the same jaunty tune you hear mm. um all halfling Wow. Yeah. This oh, place is like very nice. Um, mm -hmm. uh, just quick question: Am I supposed to be on a different map? I don't, uh, I don't, uh, like. Uh, uh no. No, nope? okay. I, I don't have it map. No, that's totally fine. Oh. I was just making sure that 
that wasn't a technical mm-hmm. difficulty or anything. Um, right. Well, I am incredibly intrigued with that Dragonborn. And not having really any idea about social, like, do's and don'ts, um, Wes is going to walk right up and um, get a closer look. <laughs> but right, not in a weird... Okay, so basically... <laughs> <laughs> Just it's like a very in a not weird way. <laughs> uh, so he West walks up, um, as if to ask a question, but just stands there silently. Uh, you walk up, and you just start to stand there. Uh, and he doesn't even notice you at first. He's so busy, right? Before everybody drinks, <laughs> he like uh starts like go around and looks up, and looks back down for a second, like before he drinks, like waiting for you to sit down, and then. Looks back up. Um, can I help you? Uh, yes. Uh, I am looking for um, woman under tavern. <laughs> he like kind of gets quiet. Do, do you have the code? Uh, no. I was told I. She helped me find my husband. See, he looked like this. He pulls out the picture again. <laughs> very, very handsome, yeah. Um. <laughs> I, I can't really just let people in. Um, well, we need to... Not here, all right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, there's, like, somebody, like, one, one of the, like, humans in front of like, What are you talking about? A woman underneath? <laughs> he drinks more. <laughs> oh, that's crazy! <laughs> no, no woman underneath. Um, alright. Uh, I'm sorry, you don't have the car. I can't let you let you in. Um, I'm sorry. I, I just, I can't help you. What is the code? It doesn't work that way. No, I've had a lot of people try that. Oh. Didn't. Doesn't really. Sorry. It. It's, it's a group it's it's a thing that certain people know um you get taught it if you're with their groups and whatnot oh sorry i can't i just i can't tell anymore in front of this guy <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking this a code voice <laughs> looks really confused <laughs> it's the most basic human fellow you've ever seen in your entire life uh clearly like Hard, uh, just got home from work. Went <laughs> 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 to the tavern. This is also like I don't know. Does West know like alcohol well or at all? Um, he doesn't know. He knows alcohol. He doesn't like it. He knows nothing about different types of alcohol. He thinks alcohol is one thing. Awesome, cool. Never mind. It's just alcohol. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is this is like it all looks like the same alcohol though. Mm. <laughs> all in the back. Um, um, I'm sorry. And, and he, like, starts to go, like, walk away <laughs> to a different person. <laughs> Do I see any, like, doorway or, like, trap door or anything? <laughs> I know it's pretty busy, probably. <laughs> Perception check. Okay. I'll have you know I have plus three. That's an 18. Ooh. <laughs> um, you actually watch someone, like walk around uh uh like almost like walk directly around the the bar and slip around this like doorway um oh. hmm. and then you like watch someone like come out of it and you you like can see that there is something over there <laughs> hmm um yeah. west um is honestly lost at what to do. Uh, the only thing idea he'd have is to ask again, but he doesn't think that's mm-hmm. gonna work. So maybe if he just tries to go in the door, that will work. That's his. his maybe the code oh, yeah. is just walk right in. So true. So, so you try to go around and walk in. Yep. You start like walk around, and immediately he's like standing there, like. I'm telling you, last warning. How tall is this guy? Uh, he'd be about seven foot three. Okay, so I'm looking down at him. I'm eight feet. Yeah. 
Okay. West um, steps back and looks like apologetic. Uh, I I have to go in there though. I have to find find my husband. I I can't help you. My hands are tied. It's not my choice to let you in or out. How how I get cold? It just depends on the group you're going with. It doesn't look like you're in a underground type of people. Mall? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, mall. Mall people, yeah. Oh, no. I fear bulk. Uh, I'm sorry. I Maybe you'll find something else along the way. I just, I can't help you here. And All right. my tavern's getting a little busy, so let me take care of that. So, Wes, Wes goes away from the door. Okay. <laughs> Wes does not know what to do at all. Um, what kinds of people are going in? Um, it's kind of a mix of everyone. You see, you see a couple. They're all like, uh, shady. Er, right? They all have like these cloaks mm. on, uh, and and uh. Yeah, all like brown, like tattered cloaks. Uh, no specific race though, right? And some of them have the hoods up, some of them have them down. Um, all look pretty confident about where they're going, except for like you see like one or two like going in and out that are like, oh, that was so weird. <laughs> mm. Um, how close can I get to the door without, um, like it being an issue? And I'm not in the well, way you- of anybody. Like you, you take like a step back, and he's not worried anymore. Mm. No. Can I listen for the code, or watch or listen for the code? <laughs> um, that would be more spying on the the bartender. Mm. Right. Okay. So would you would you want to do that? Sure. I'll just watch. Roll me a stealth check first. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't have my dice out. Oh. Was oh. that the natural 20? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> knows I'm here. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I I won't even roll. I'll, I'll let you have it. Uh, roll me a perception check. Just Please, God. Perception. 17. <laughs> Had some good rolls tonight. Um, Let me... I need to. I didn't pull out my dice because I'm. Dumb. <laughs> uh, you try to listen in. You swear you hear like maybe part of it. It's just it's. A, they're like very clear, like very good at whispering and, and hiding their their lips and. Oh, what'd you roll, like a fucking 18? <laughs> Actually, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> um, <laughs> hmm. Um, at this point, uh, I'm going to move over to Xerxes, but before that, you see one of these people in a cloak start to approach you. Oh. Uh, uh, a lizard. A big lizard. Whoa. <laughs> um, by big, I mean, like, bigger than normal lizards. He's only, like, five, six. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a <laughs> strange lizard. But he's he's a full, like, uh, lizard person. Uh, as he slowly starts to approach you, uh, seriously. Uh, let's move to a different, different song real quick, and then we'll all attack you. <laughs> Yay! Zeus is gonna die, guys! Hey, everybody watching at home! I'm muted, but Zeus is gonna die! There we go! Zeus! It is a quiet day in the shop today. (laughs) Always is. Um, you've been like sitting down in that uh, second storage room, working on some small things to pass time. But you know you're normally very quiet 
shop is especially quiet today. Like, no one even is, like, coming to, like, browse for weird stuff. It's just silent. And it's been silent for eight hours straight, which sucks. You definitely could have been doing more important things. But it, it, it's just how it was. And, and, and you're working on, like, little stuff and not anything specific at the moment. And you're thinking about that. That little thing that someone told you. About the ore. Um, and your train of thoughts uh, interrupted as uh, you hear a door from your, the door from downstairs opening and closing shut downstairs. Do you, Do you like to go, go downstairs? downstairs? I go downstairs and exit the storage room, peeking my head into the main room, see who's just entered. Okay. Uh, you, you peek your head out. You have to like look past your your like piles of books on the front desk. <laughs> um, and you see a lizard folk, a familiar face browsing your wares. Um, this lizard folk has these deep red scales that kind of get brighter as it goes towards his chest. You can also see these bright yellow eyes. Uh, he wears this brown, pretty tattered cloak, brown slacks, no shoes of any sort because he has big lizard feet. And uh, kind of reminds you of an iguana, maybe? Something close to that. Uh, but you'd know him by the name of Regis, and you'd recognize him because he gave you a tip a couple of days ago. That's some, some, something special in a cave nearby. That ore? Mm hmm. What do I see him looking for? Just browsing around? Just browsing around. Uh, specifically, he's probably waiting for you to come out. He doesn't look interested in anything <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's looking at. at. Okay. Um, I go out to greet him. Back already? Oh, yeah, you know. Um, I was just wondering what you were thinking about with the, with the information I gave you. What I was thinking about it? Well, I was thinking. Well, are you, you going to go like, go out and get it, maybe? Um. I mean, <laughs> I am a very busy man. It is, it is an interesting offer, if you want to say it's true. Certainly unique. But... I am awfully busy. Well, you know, there's no one else looking for it, Roy, so couldn't hurt to just check it out. Right. You seem awfully interested as well. Well, you know, I just I heard about it, and you know, you're my favorite shop in the area. Is that so? Can I roll an insight check? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> roll your check. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. I, that's great. I'm gonna roll. I does not have a high. <laughs> not a high DC. Never know what's up with this guy. Yeah, you, you just don't know. It's so weird. Uh, he's like really fidgety, but could be for anything, really. He's always fidgety. He is always fidgety. <laughs> Look. Like I said, I'll check it out if I have time. I told you this when you came and told me earlier. I'm not disinterested. I'm just interested in a lot of other things as well. And if I am to go, and if I find what you say I will find, then I will let you know how that goes. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's, that's great. That sounds good. Did, would this lizard perhaps know your name? Um, 
I mean, how regular of a customer is he? He came in that one time. That one time? Probably not, then. Oh, a friend, pal, buddy. Um, I, I just think you're so, you're so right. It's a lot. Once in a lifetime opportunity. Dude, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I was told to to go over there and clear something out, and someone stole all my money. <laughs> mm. It's gonna hire people and then it, it went really bad um but for you this is like free it's a free really once in a lifetime opportunity um that you'll never find anywhere i really need you to go there <laughs> friend mm -hmm. i hate to repeat myself I will go if I am interested. If I am not busy working and manning my store. As you can see, busy day, obviously. <laughs> you seem particularly interested in what I may find there. Is that the wrong of me to say? I uh, no, no, not at all. Uh, I just think it's cool. You think it's cool? I thought this was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh, it is, but you know, I don't do the cool like blacksmithy stuff that you yes, do. Yes. Who else have you told about this? Um, just the people that I hired that took all my money didn't do it. <laughs> no one else. Not us. I mean, I, I also put up wanted posters. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it didn't mention the material, it was just like, oh, I'll pay yeah, you. Material. So, stop me if I'm misunderstanding, but you mm -hmm. need to clear something out from there, yes? Uh, yeah. Other than the ore that I may be interested in? Uh, yes. You need to clear out something or someone. Oh, it's just something. It's nothing exciting. I mean, it is. It's a worm cave, so. Mm. Is it some... uh, dangerous? I mean, danger is such a weird word, right? You said you needed help if you were to do something like this. That is so true. I did say that, huh? All right, hear me out. I also have a hundred gold pieces. <laughs> I thought you were stolen from. Well, that was the other 900. Mm -hmm. One hundred gold pieces to go clear out this cave and I get the ore? Is that what you're telling me now? Again, stop me if I misunderstand. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Where is this gold right now? Oh, it's it's in my in my room at my inn. Could I see it? I don't understand. 
Are, are you gonna steal it from me? Do I look like the kind of person who needs to steal from a noob? That felt like an insult. <laughs> I guess not. I'll... Yeah, I'll be, I'll be right back <laughs> with the money. I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. You'll help on doing that then. I will just. He screams off. <laughs> <laughs> He looked so embarrassed the entire time. Uh, if if this red lizard could get red, he would have done it. <laughs> um, he, like scurries off out the door, um, very quick. <laughs> it is just... Holy this shit! I have seen this week in here. <laughs> um, and your story's back to being quiet. Uh, are any of your uh humongous out? Um, no, the infusion isn't activated. Okay. Uh, then it is just quiet. And you go back upstairs to work on some stuff. <clears throat> um, and we'll return to West real quick. Um, West, this, this lizard folk, so nice. <laughs> he mm -hmm. introduces himself, uh, I'm I'm Regis, right? And I hear you need a password, right? Um, I can get you that password. You just have to do something little for me, really small, actually. Mm, you are very if... red. <laughs> I am red. That's so true. Oh, what's your name? Best. Oh, West. Pleasure. I like you already. We're best friends. Um, so. <laughs> And he's like walking you down the street. <laughs> All right, so I need you to help me with something, and then I can give you the password. Easy, no problem, right? Um, actually, no trouble. I don't think. Um, so basically, there's this cave close by, and you know, I just need some some weird things cleared out of it. Hmm. Animals. I guess that they're like they're more lizards than animals. Um, oh, like you? Like me, but they um, they spit death at you. <laughs> oh. Mm. I'm very busy looking for my husband. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you give me password? Then I go through door, right? And then I come back, and then I go to cave. Um, if I, it's not the first time I've been told that someone's busy today, and it really hurts. Um, I can't do that. The last time I did something like that, someone stole from me. Um, why would I steal? You wouldn't. I just, it's safe. It's like, it's just, so you do this, and then I can get you the password. I mean... You come yeah, there like a... to cave? Oh, I guess I could. Oh, well, there's another person that's gonna come, right? So they're really cool. You're, you're really gonna like them. I think. I think. What color are they? they... Oh, they're blue. <laughs> Whoa. Mm -hmm. I like blue. Ever met a blue person before? Yes. Oh well, I guess this isn't as cool. Uh, but. You get to meet another one, right? So, um, you know, it's just, it's fine. I don't know what happened to my accent, but... <laughs> you are copying me. I, I am sorry, no. <clears throat> Ayo, or so, um, yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that person. I actually just grabbed my money. They wanted to see my money, right, so that they had more incentive to go. But you're at a roadblock right now, so I mean, technically, you're not busy at all, and no, you're not busy. Road until is you get clear. I don't, no roadblock. He no, like man, looks uh, around. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so picture this in your, in your, in your brain, right? Mm. So you see your husband, right? Imagine your husband. Mm hmm. There's a there's a block in there's like a, a large log in front of it. Oh, I lift log. 
fight go husband. No, lo log is so have heavy, too heavy already. Um, you are copying you me. <laughs> I'm having trouble not doing it. Uh, <clears throat> mm, like bird. So I. Uh, so yeah, so um, basically it's a big log. You can't lift it. It's too heavy. Um, oh, no wow. way around it either. Um, Under? But if you, no, no way. No, nope. not over either. You can't do anything to get out. I keep going back to this goddamn accent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but so, so uh, yeah, so you have to have the password and then the, the log explodes. Whoa. Mm hmm Poor log. So oh, <laughs> So you want the password, yeah? Hmm. Alright, so there's a roadblock right now, nothing else you can do about it. So we'll get you the password after you do this thing for me. With my mm. buddy, my best we're also best friends. We're really close. Oh what is best friend's name? Oh, Xerces. Really oh, I Whoa. don't know that. Just kidding. <laughs> what uh, is this small know. child doing here? Uh, <laughs> I, I I don't know their name. Sage. <laughs> Sage is just in the roll twenty. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> uh, well, I go meet person then. Yeah, you'll you'll go meet this random person. Uh, not random. We're best friends. Um. Oh. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna go right now. It, okay. And you're gonna do this, right? Mm. Are you for sure. Maybe. Do you want the password? Yes. Give. Now. After you do it. Mm. Copy. All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, he leads you into the big walls. Um, Wes, this is your first time in the big walls. Uh, of like anywhere. <laughs> big. Uh, they are about uh, twenty feet tall. Um, with and you see guards lining across them. This is actually what you saw originally. Um, not the little wooden gate. Uh, <laughs> and the guards in front don't like hesitate to let you in or anything. Uh, it's you know after you get past the first gate, they're kind of like whatever. It's true. Um, and you get through, and you start to walk. And Pete, this is where people give you a lot of weird looks. Uh, in fact, there are a lot of humans here, and uh, a, a few, like, uh, different races that also give you weird looks. A lot of people that have never seen fear bulbs before. Mm. Um, it's just, it's just, it's really uncomfortable just being watched the entire time you're walking through. Mm. Wes doesn't quite so. understand why he's being watched, so he, like, fixes his hat. Like... <laughs> You actually think people watch you more after you fix the hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, ignore them. <laughs> um, but this little this lizard who's like scurrying across the streets, uh, looking around a lot, uh, leads you to uh, this large marketplace where there's a lot of shops all around, right? Uh, you see some like opener, uh, op <laughs> opener, uh, open uh, bazaar like areas, uh, but. He like scurries and walks you through um, of these like stores that are set building like, um, and you're just about to walk by. What do you <laughs> wants you to go to? Or you like grabs your arm? Oh, wait, 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 wait! Look right there, and he like points you uh, to the right, and you see this like very like hardly. It's not advertised in any way. You just see like this little wooden sign that says trifles and trinkets. Mm. So that that's where my buddy is. It's well, good friends. I thought I knew their name. Um, <laughs> and he leads you in and opens the door. Like, uh, in Xerxes, your door opens very loud. <laughs> Xerxes goes back downstairs, pokes her head out, sees like <laughs> and, this and... looks around. Is uh, West's hoof stomps like really loud on the wood? <laughs> <laughs> um, Parker, if you'd like to describe West. Um, 
Well, you guys know West. <laughs> uh, he is an eight foot tall, brown and green and yellow <laughs> and more brown. <laughs> um, very cow like Fearbolg. With, um, he's got these tusks jutting out from his bottom lip and a very shiny key around his neck. Um. As he sees, hears him walk in, immediately <coughs> is annoyed to have the piece of his store be disturbed and set away. <laughs> you can already barely stand to have multiple customers in here at a time and this is just like a lot all of a sudden especially mm -hmm. to have him be brought in by this silly little lizard <laughs> oh, oh. thy nice friend I oh, brought a friend oh, that's here to help also I brought your money <laughs> you don't say anything about a friend Oh, but I thought you would like a friend to help. Mm -hmm. I thought you said that I was the only person... Uh, whatever. Can I see them on me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, like, gives you, like, a bag. I open the bag. Uh, there are ten platinum pieces. Does it look, uh, authentic? Roll me investigation check. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is the realest money you've ever touched in your life. <laughs> <laughs> what well, as well, I'm surprised. Wonder who would give you that one. But, um, okay. Suddenly, I am interested. Uh, yeah, you here for Cold War 2? What? Cold word. Say. Oh, no. Uh, d hmm? Different, different things we're here for. <laughs> oh. So. Are you, are you seem to be assembling a little group of people with interests? Is that a cold word? Looking for ore? For those wanted posters? Uh, yeah, just looking for. You know, an opportunity. I just, I just, I need it cleared out. And I'm worried the first people I hired were really expensive and they took all my money. Mm -hmm. oh, I've just, I'm, I'm willing to do a lot at this point. I can tell. Um, Xerxes hands the money back to him. Well, when do you need it cleared up by? I mean, it'd be good to happen within the month. Uh, not within, uh, within like the next month. But otherwise, I, I don't really have a, a preference. Okay. Well. Lizard. Oh, yeah. Which way is the cave? Uh, so, you're going to want to go south from the city. Um, if you just follow the path, it should branch into it eventually. Detour. Yeah, it's a, um, actually, and he starts to, like, scuffle through his little bag. And, oh, god damn it. Uh, he pulls out this map. Uh, so it should be, as he, like, splays it across, it's just a map of Tokane. Uh, and he circles this little area uh, in southern Tokane. Wes has only seen one map in his life, and it was a knot of the whole place. Mm-hmm. So he is enamored by all the squiggles on this paper. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, so if you just keep going south, it should be you should be good. Hmm. Okay. I break one rule for you. I oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nobody knows what that means. <laughs> <laughs> he says thank you anyway. <laughs> oh, thank you. And you gave me back the money. Oh. Does that mean... I will not do this for you. I don't think I'm going to need any written statement from you proving you offered me money, do I? You're not going to make me go through that trouble. Uh, no, definitely not. Trust you. you can trust me. Good or Regis. Do you have name? I gave you my name. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Right. What's your name? He looks at Xerxes. I am called Xerxes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> I am West. Hello, West. Best friend Xerxes and best friend West. It has a good ring to it. Can I peek at the map as well? Yeah. Uh, what are, you, are you looking for anything specific? I'm just like... Just Watchers, I almost said, I, like, who are you? <laughs> to, to, to <laughs> Whatever his name is. I forgot again. You wouldn't have known Token very well. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, I mean, you recognize like the closest uh, cities, probably. You probably recognize Stamford. And then... The rest is a little rough. Yeah. Can I have this map? Oh yeah, I can just buy another one. And he like uh, rolls it up again and gives it to West. All right. West is enamored by this piece of paper. <laughs> he keeps looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Where can I find you once I complete this task for you? Um, always at the Copper Dragon. Most days, unless I'm here. Or somewhere else. Probably at the Copper Dragon there. Just ask for me. Oh, uh, uh, by the bartender. Oh. He's a really cool guy. Very colorful. Yeah, very shiny, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, just ask for Regis, and he should get someone to bring me down. All right. Uh, thank you all for this. So I've been a little all over the place about it. Oh, just, I really need it done. Um, I really appreciate it, though. Can I have... Wait, cold word, one word? It's two words. Can I have one word? Half. Blood wine. That's the second word. Okay. Can't give you the first one, though. Mm. Uh, do you want me to go with you? For this, I can. I just, uh, it's whatever works. To this game? Yeah, uh, Wes says something about it, about me coming with. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm willing. You fight? Good. I'm more the sneaky type, not the fighting type. Mm. You come. All right. <laughs> what that word I learned? Assurance? Ish. Whatever. I sh I know it's assurance. You're right. <laughs> mm. Um. All right. I'll uh get some horses ready. Uh, I've a connection I can probably pull for it, so you don't have to spend anything. West um, doesn't need a horse. <laughs> you don't. Well, are you going to be slow then? Do you, do you walk or...? I follow. Alright! Big cowman. Or yes. be... West. I'll be right back. <laughs> Any scuttles? <laughs> See, my plan is to transform into an axe beak. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... We're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's gone. Mm. West kind of looks around the shop a bit. Just, uh, is it just a lot of books or? 
Uh, like, would you like to describe your shop? It is a lot of, especially in this first room that you just entered, is a lot of shelves with any manner of things on it. There's kind of no rhyme or reason to what is being sold here. There's books, there's parchment scrolls, there's all sorts of like little mechanical things that I don't think Wes could like begin to understand what they could possibly be for. There's tools. There's a lot um, of metal. Yeah, a lot, just like a lot of a lot of trinkets and trifles. Mm. <laughs> um, Xerxes just watches you quietly. Um, the the tip of her tail kind of flicking indignantly. <laughs> um, kind of worried, I think, that you might knock something over. It's not a very um, <laughs> a Less spacious. Just being very very careful. Like, he's not moving much, he's just sort of turning his head and looking around. So, <laughs> West, was it? Yes. Xerxes. Yes. Funny. Hmm. What did he tell you? Uh, the thing about the cold word? So, out at the tavern. There is woman under tavern. He sounds unsure. But to get down, he said I need cold word. Well, uh, this like metal dragon say I need cold word. So I leave and lizard come up to me and say he no cold word if I go to cave. You were talking about the uh, copper dragon? Oh, no, the red one tell me go to cave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you need such a thing for a cold word? You don't forgive me if I'm being rude or prying. You don't really seem like the kind of uh, person to associate in those circles. Mm. Someone... Mm, I... So, okay. So he pulls out his, his paper. Uh, the, the little drawing of Avery again. I am looking for my husband, yes? Uh, he looks like this. And someone tell me that woman under tavern might know where he is. So, I need cold word to go under tavern. And he's like, he's mimicking stuff with his hands. So, I talk to woman and she tell me information. Hmm. Why are you going to cave? Cold word? No. No, I don't need that. Uh, cold word. Uh... She kind of like waves her arm as if it, like it's whatever. Just looking for uh, some or rumors of if uh, if what I hear about it is true, then it will be very helpful for my studies mm. for the things I build. She like gestures out. To the store. Is she wearing her arm right now? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. West is, is kind of looking at it, but he's not that, like, surprised or anything. He doesn't ask her about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Could I ask you a question? Hmm. And, uh, I hope I'm not being rude. Just wondering. You are a uh, Firbolg? Yes. I assume so. Uh, you. Not, I'm not sure what you are. <laughs> Deep Link. Oh. Wow. 
blue. Yes, blue pink link. Um, just asking because I, I've I've seen fireballs before. And then, uh, bovine in nature. Mm. Yeah. You're not from here, or you? You're from far away, I would assume. Mm, south. Across ocean. Across the ocean. Mm, very long time ago. Looking for your husband? Mm, no. Before. I look mm. for him now. I live in forest before. But he went missing. So now I am looking for him. How long has he been missing for? Was a, isn't very good at telling the time uh, or keeping track of days. So he he thinks back to how many seasons it's about been. Mm. Eight seasons. Almost. Xerxes looks really surprised to hear that. He definitely assumed it's like <laughs> just like he's been gone for a week or something. Mm. He kind of just like looks you up and down like thinking to herself. Wes kind of looks himself up and down confused. <laughs> You've been traveling for a while, I assume? Mm, yes. No luck yet? No. This, my first lead. Mm. So, important I get cold words. Well, I wish you luck then. Mm. I hope you find what are you looking for. I hope so too. But I'm not being lied to. Mm. What do I know about this ore? Um. So the reason why it's particularly special to you is because it is both like infused with like magical energy, but it is very dim, right? So it is okay. a is a magical thing that you should be able to touch and handle with ease. Um, specifically, uh, it depends on what uh dragon or worm lives in lives near it but it harnesses that elemental just all around energy and some have used it to uh project like make their own like flamethrowers or uh different items of the sort but you can do a lot with it it can power a lot of things it's just it's an almost limitless uh, mm -hmm. item The lizards say he get horses, yeah? Yes. Well, feel free to look around, see what interests you in this or I doubt. There will be much for you here. Nothing that I imagine could be useful for you. West is really interested in one of the books that's on... Um, is it... Uh, you said like there's a, a stack of books on the desk. Uh, yeah, there's there's a stack of books on the desk. There's like books scattered across many different shelves and things. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of it is things that like, um, most of what Xerxes does here is sell her own things that she makes. But there is like on occasion people who will bring her books and things and if she has no use for them she'll just like maybe like rebind it and resell it something like that mm -hmm. um she's not too familiar with everything that she has in stock a lot of time at the time she's just like trying to like get it and get rid of it because um she just doesn't have the room for everything there's a lot of things mm -hmm. sitting in storage that she just hasn't been able to get rid of 
Is there uh, are most books in common? Um, yeah, most of the books are in common. Would there be any books in Sylvan at all? Um, it's certainly possible. I mean, Xerxes has like um, her own personal notes and things in Sylvan, her own like journal is probably like sitting like oh or like a ledger or something is sitting on her desk and that would be in sylvan mm -hmm. just wondering i'm not gonna do anything <laughs> <laughs> just standing around looking at all the little little There's metal these, things like, walks over back to her like desk and you can see gets to work on something like trying not to look up at Wes so often. She, he's like, he's still very worried that he's gonna <laughs> knock something over. It's a bull in a china <laughs> shop right now, guys. <laughs> um, about fifteen more minutes pass, and come bursting through the door is a familiar lizard. <laughs> Wes is sitting on the floor at this point. Uh, Can you quit slamming that door. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it like fragile? No, oh, just... it's loud. Oh, okay, I'm. Just, I misunderstood. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I got horses. I got two because you said you were fine. Mm. Um, but even if you're not, I'm sure. I'm. I, you can ride with me. It's fine. Um, but yeah, oh, we're good to go whenever. Um, just let me know when we're feeling it. Um, I think Xerxes is, like, ready to go. I guess she could, like, head upstairs, like, get her gun. Mm, yeah, Wes is just standing around ready. So, Xerxes, like, Oops. does her, like, gets ready, locks anything, and she, like, uh, valuable, super valuable. Heads out, flips a sign, marking the store as closed, and I guess he's ready to go. Okay. Uh, Regis leads you to, uh, uh like, the outside uh, gates, where he uh, shows off two horses. Uh, pretty basic horses. Uh, nothing, nothing special. Uh, they're both these just, like, basic brown, uh, black mane uh, horses. Uh, receive... They, they, they seem very nice uh, not like against human contact or anything nothing weird um, and you see him like like I don't know on like hands and knees like thanking this person for uh, <laughs> letting him use the horses uh, then like scuffles back we have to bring these back <laughs> there's no if and or buts if we lose these woo. how long is this ride Probably about three days, I assume. Mm. So three days there, three days back, be six days altogether. Shouldn't take too long, of course. You'll uh, have rations for yourself? Yeah. All right. I've also hunted before, so if anything happens, um, no worries. <laughs> mm. Wes yes, has I underestimated um, how long this trip was going to be. <laughs> I am not. I am not a hunter, so I am trusting that you have got that covered. Of course, no problem. All right, we ready to go. <laughs> mm. Scuttles <laughs> onto this horse. So. <gasps> West uses Wild Shape um, and turns mm. into an Axe Beak, which I don't have a token for, but you guys know what he looks like. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, so you see he's right in front of you. This massive uh, cow person transforms into a still large bird. Xerxes, <laughs> hey. is like, um, uh, is startled <laughs> and, like, takes a step back. <laughs> like, he is very familiar with magic in a very clinical sense, I guess you could say. Very like, here's how to make an item, how to make items do things. Isn't much of a spellcaster, 
hasn't really had much experience with spellcasters. Mm-hmm. West ruffles his feathers, <laughs> shakes off her surprise, and is like, "Okay, crazy oh. bird." <laughs> I could have. Yeah, I, I, wow, Axe Peaks just look like chocobos. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Big That's beak awesome. chocobo. Um, wow, I could have, could have only got on one horse, huh? Mm. He's fine. <laughs> this this bird moves. <laughs> that is so weird. It's like a moo with like some beak clacking at the end. <laughs> All right, let's yeah, let's get going. Fox can only wild shape for one hour. <laughs> well, you can do it twice every short rest. <laughs> so you probably will be hopping on someone's horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but you guys are off. Um. It's West. You. It's really cool. You're you're running as your as your axe beak, and you slowly start to turn back. And you're like, oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and you have to. Everyone has to stop. And you probably hop on um, Regis's horse. Mm-hmm. Am I too heavy for the horse? <laughs> horse is struggling a little bit, but it, it can move. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Regis is really light. So. Ah, counteracts that. Um, it's it's okay. And so you guys are off uh, through the through the open field into the forest where West you just were, mm. and you guys uh, keep going. Keep West going. remembers his dream, <laughs> <laughs> and it is really just. Uh, I mean, after the first day of travel, you guys set up camp, uh, and this is if you guys want to do anything on the trip, you guys can. Um, for the most part, it's just travel camp, travel camp. Um, into the third day of traveling, in which uh, you guys see a blockade in the middle of the middle of like the the little dirt path you're following. Well, this the blockade you tell me about? Yes. Oh, one second. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess this would be a considerable blockade. Log. Um, the blockade is actually the the log is large, right? Um, and there's a bunch of like wreckage of trees just past it, uh, to where the um the horses don't really look like they want to go down that way. Um, do you see uh, a different path? Uh, or probably the original path. It heads over to the left. Or um, yeah. And there's a narrower path uh, just to the right of the blockade. Um, Does it look new? Um, no, they both look old. Okay. Uh, yeah. As, as you like look at the narrow path, it is, it is pretty clear it's gonna be it's gonna be a little little slower of a trip. Um, just don't know when the turns are might cost you an additional day. Mm-hmm. And this is for like either path. Yeah, uh you could spend you could spend time uh clearing the first one too. Uh but yeah, uh, the first path looks almost like impossible to clear without uh, we'll go through without actually clearing it. Um but the other one it's it's a trip. How many logs? Is it just one big log and then It's one it's like one big log and then like a, a a few trees like fall on top of each other. You could like push out of the way. Mm. Can I try and move the log out of the way? Uh, roll me an athletics check. Athletics. Athletics. Mm. 18. Okay. okay. Yeah, you actually you actually start you get like a good grip on it and um <laughs> you watch where you're just like I guess we're doing that. <laughs> he tries to like help you with the other <laughs> side. Doesn't doesn't like. Well, let's. <laughs> <laughs> he rolled a nineteen minus one. <laughs> Whoa. Um, so he also like gets a good grip. <laughs> Wes is completely silent. <laughs> Where are we moving? <laughs> <laughs> 
What do we do? <laughs> I assume uh, just out of the way, like. Yeah. Like over here, I guess. <laughs> he stays on her horse. He is just watching this happen. <laughs> he, he like struggling to like move over and he tosses it over. Oh wow, that was Oh, oh I'm gonna be solved for, like next week and a half. Good work. Thank you. You too. Wes Big pats boy. him on the head. That's he's a little dehumanizing. Oh um sorry. Oh, there's the other tree. No, it's fine. It's the other trees now, too, though. Mm. I guess I could show off my strength once more. Um, and the uh, Regis starts, like, to approach. Um, seriously, you've been just sitting on your, on your horse. Roll me a perception check. Okay. You hear a shuffling in the bushes behind you. Uh, a little further down the, uh, a little further down this way. Oh, did you see my blue? No. Okay, there. Um, he immediately like turns his head to look. Uh, yeah. Uh, you see. Oh, if I get off my ruler. <laughs> uh, starting to come out of the bushes is oh man a massive bear <laughs> whoa <laughs> does it look like it's noticed us and it's like approaching uh it is definitely heading in your direction as for noticing you uh roll me an insight what would you see not that low <laughs> <laughs> it is definitely approaching. <laughs> Not very insightful. <laughs> uh, it's definitely like slowly making its way over. You don't know if it's noticed you yet or not. Um, Xerxes kind of like whisper yells at them. Regis, West. Mm. Oh, yeah, I was hoping. There is a bear behind us. There's a bear. It's coming this way. Well, um, can we, can I roll to know if it has noticed us? Is that, like... Uh, at this point, as it does get closer, <laughs> it has definitely seen the two horses, the blue tiefling, and the massive cow person. <laughs> How big is this bear? Can I tell from here? About ten feet long. Oh, pretty big bear. Big bear. Um, um, and it is it is slowly approaching, very cautiously approaching, both of you. Um, one second, let me just check something. Regis is gone. <laughs> oh. Uh, you guys like you you see you you know he didn't run like run away, but you do see him like disperse into a bush. <laughs> mm. She's just like trying to keep her horse from freaking out, I guess. Mm -hmm. Sorry, one sec. I'm just checking my thing. She's not very good with animals at all. <laughs> Can West try and talk to the bear with, I have speech of beast and leaf. You can communicate, though not understand beasts and plants and have advantage. Yeah, what do you say it. to it? Um... I, I say, Billow. <laughs> Go <He's> away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to give you the advantage for that. <laughs> Go away. Uh, but yeah, roll of persuasion with advantage. <laughs> uh, how do I do advantage rolls on here? Holy shit. Uh, I or is it just roll to... twice? Yeah. Oh, I guess because you're on D and D Beyond, you just roll twice. Okay. It's easier on uh, on roll twenty. It rolls twice already. Mm -hmm. There's a way to do it, but it's not worth it. Just roll it twice. You said mm -hmm. a persuasion check. Yeah. Why can I not find persuasion? Oh, there it is. I'm just blind. 
That's an 18. <laughs> You're talking to the bear? Yes. It stops. I can't do a bear noise, but imagine there are bear noises coming from it. I was about to try to roar. <laughs> like growls and grunts. Is it like a bear roar? Uh, no, it's more of a growl. I was going to do like a little roar. Oh, uh, so it probably huffs then. Okay, all right. Well, you are way more knowledgeable on animals. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it, it kind of like huffs. Looks towards you guys. Doesn't approach, but it doesn't look like it's going away, per se. Does it look particularly hungry? Roll insight check. Twenty one. <laughs> Rolling so well all day. What did it <laughs> Yeah, I know this bear personally. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like particularly hungry, but it doesn't look like it's against a meal. Does enough of the path look like cleared up for me to like try and lead my horse farther away? Um, the horse is like the the, the reason why you couldn't exactly go through in the first was because the horse is kind of again squeezing through it. Mm -hmm. uh, roll me a animal handling check because <laughs> I know you're really good at those. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the first this, this is really fitting for <laughs> the like, doc you haven't read yet. <laughs> you like pat it awkwardly. <laughs> A bit this way. It <laughs> slowly starts to go that Are way. Both and horses you... on this side, like, is because I forgot his <laughs> name already. The lizard guy, he got off the <laughs> Have yep, he, I'll have to wait. It's all right. Uh, yeah. Regis is gone. Uh, but yeah, you you like tap it. He must have tapped it in a weird place because it goes. No. <laughs> I think it's like he's startled. Off. West is think, startled. Like Xerxes is trying to like lead this horse down, but she herself is like really nervous and kind of jittery being around like this bear and just in this environment in general and it's not calming this horse down at all yeah kind of like jerking at it like come on come on yeah it literally like, tosses you backwards do i fall off <laughs> yep <laughs> uh I, i'll let you roll an uh acrobatics or athletics whatever you're better at Whoa. It tosses you back. You like are gripped really hard. This hurt. This must hurt the horse, right? <laughs> As you like pull back, you're like back on it. The horse is running down the path. Like back up or down? Uh, back up. Oh. Uh, towards this way. Ooh. <laughs> um, um. And so you're about right here, actually. At that point. Is the other horse next to me? Yep. Well, okay. the, the other horse being startled uh, by the first horse. Should I? Comes with. Oh. <laughs> what are you going to try to do? Like, calm the horse down? Um. Well, me, an animal. I'll give you the animal handling. Okay. You shouldn't have done that. I have plus five. <laughs> It's a nat 20. Is this, your third? is this your third natural 20? I think, uh, no, that's my it's second. second. Oh, so it's only your second. It's only my second. <laughs> uh, you're like, are you tell, you tell, uh, what, what do you say or do? I tell it to follow down the, uh, path we just cleared as far as it can go. So, go. Right, you see it about to, like, run after, uh, the horse you see it on, and it, it stops and it looks at you. You I see like a knowing look, yeah. You see understanding in its eyes, and it... It's like if you calm, the bear won't get you. Is kind of what. 
it like huffs and uh, starts to head down the path, so like calming down a bit. Um, <laughs> at this point, the bear will be chasing Xerxes's horse. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. So That's I'm great. probably gonna need everyone to roll me initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, a bear. 16. Okay. Oh, wait, I didn't have my thing selected. Now I'm not in the turn order. Sorry, I can put you guys in. Okay. You should be able to add your own initiative, actually. Um, how do I do that? Oh, like uh, this. Yeah, just press in the zero. Yep. It's a very cute bear, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, Wes would think so. <laughs> Seth, are you able to put your... Uh, yeah. Real dice. Ooh. Or you just is not do it too hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's roll for the bear. Oh, this is my big dice for the bear. Whoa. Um, all right. And, oh no, I pressed too many times like a big stupid idiot. Hi, Bear. Oh. All right. Uh, West, you'll start our initiative. What would you like oh, to do? Oh boy. Well, one second. Sorry, I was not ready for this. <laughs> Um, hmm. Wes doesn't particularly want to hurt the bear, mm -hmm. but also new friend in danger, so, oh boy, West is going to, oh, one second. Um, cast as a bonus action, Shalala. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, uh, Shalali. Shalali. I always get it wrong. Okay. Uh, Shalali on his mace, and okay. uh, I'll usually go up to the bear <laughs> and roll hit to hit the bear. That's a 22 to hit. That'll hit. Um, eight. Nice. All right. You do eight points of damage against the bear as you... Uh, so you don't want to, right? You, you obviously don't want to, but you slam it into its uh, back leg, mm. uh, which causes it to kind of slow down a little bit, but uh, oh, it, it felt it. Wait yeah. one second. Is Shillelagh itself just a bonus action, or is it just the casting of it and then the damage is an action? Because um, it says, since I'm a druid, it's a bonus action. I think that means you're good. I, th I think the casting is a bonus action, then your attack would be the action. Okay, got it. All right. Uh, yeah, you, you deal eight points of damage. It's uh, That's a good hit. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Uh, is that your turn? Uh, yeah. All right. Seriously, what's up? Um, so do I have control of my horse right now, or is it, like, just going? Uh, you do not have control right now. You could roll an animal handling and try to get control if you'd like. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna... Would or, that take uh, my action? <laughs> it probably would, yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that or, like, in intimidation. If you're okay. Um, let's see. I think yeah, the most important thing right now is to not be on this, like, not be in control of this. So, Xerxes like kind of um, tries to roll intimidation. Kind of like digs her <laughs> into the side, like of the horse, like, <laughs> and like tries to 
grab the reins tighter and like yank it back in an attempt to like you know yeah. get control of it again i feel like he yanks the uh reins back he the horse like slowly like skirts to a stop um really wants to keep going really wants to keep running um not feeling too good about anything that's going on right now uh but you have your movement still and your bonus action okay um how large are each of these tiles uh five feet okay um Use your ruler to measure it out. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna like try and let's see. I don't know how to use the ruler. <laughs> Go with it. Um, what's my like speed on the horse? Like, how far can I go while I'm riding this horse? I'm pretty sure a horse's speed is. 40 feet, but I'll check real quick right now. Uh, riding horse, it would be 60 feet. Your your speed is 60 feet. Oh. Um, can I like... Can I like get over here? Yeah, for sure. How do I, um... Oh, do you not have control of your token? No. Or are you stuck on, are you, do you have ruler open? Yeah. Oh, you have to go to back to your, left. yeah, click back yeah. to the mouse. One. Okay. Yeah. So I, like, circle around and get back to the log and stop. Just right. want to be as far away as possible. I'm not, like, really thinking tactically right now. Okay. Sounds good. Um, is that your turn? Oh, yeah, it's my turn. All right. It's going to be the bear's turn, then, who is oh, going boy. to turn to west. Oh, apologetic. <laughs> and it roars in your face as it will attack you. Oh, boy. Well, at least attempt to attack you. Big dice for big bear. Does an 11 hit your armor class? No. Okay. Uh, and that misses too. All right. Um, so as you, you watch it uh, try to like bite forward and then... <laughs> uh, so as it like bites forward, you like quickly like uh, dodge a little to the side. Um, and then one more like claw attack down. It just totally whiffs you. Um, kind of leaving it open for whatever comes next. It can't really do anything else. So yeah. That will bring us to Regis. <laughs> Uh, yes, my beloved. Where's our friend been? <laughs> hey, okay in the bush, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Who like pokes out of the bush a little, and bing <laughs> pulls up this little cross. You guys see like a tiny crossbow like peek out of the bush and <laughs> fire at the bear. Um, no combat music for us. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm kidding. I actually had battle. No, I had battle music open. <laughs> put it in. Um, I'll put it in, but I'm pretty sure this fight's about to end in the next two rounds. Yay! <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. All right. That's the kind of speed I'm uh, looking for. That's the fastest I like. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we. Uh, the bear does get hit by the little crossbow bolt um and we'll take uh Ooh. Uh, uh, oh boy we'll take nine points of piercing damage wow as you once you watch this little little bolt uh impale itself uh really close to the bear's neck Oof. um it is looking very rough. Mm. Having a rough time. Um, and then he will use his bonus action to hide. Not a good roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don't worry. <laughs> he, 
<laughs> he starts to like step back and you hear him trip. Oh Jesus! <laughs> you hear the entire bush crack under him. <laughs> What's the nature? Um... <laughs> Uh, and that's gonna bring us to Western. Ah, uh, well, West feels really bad right now about this bear, but it is. So how like very wounded? It looks very yeah. wounded. Do you think there'd be any way for West to get the bear to go away? Or, you could, well... You could try. No, never mind. I think I'm just going to put it out of its misery. Okay. I don't think I want to put the, let this go off without healing it, and I don't think anybody would be happy about that. So, Wes is going to take um, his club. One second. Ooh. Sorry, I have to... My sheet's all messed up. Sorry about this. You're so good. Oh boy. Yeah, we get to listen to music. <laughs> so West has his club out, right? Um, yeah. And is just going to attack the bear with the club. So. Oops, I forgot to do a real roll on that. Ignore that one. Oh, good. Oh, I thought you had your yeah. uh, mace out. Sorry. Oh, sorry. No, it's a club, not a mace. Okay. I misspoke. Ah. Uh, does a 10 hit? <laughs> a 10 barely misses. Oh, bear. <laughs> funny guy over here and uh, as a i believe as a bonus action one second i'm just making sure i'm not lying um am i lying <laughs> i don't think i'm lying i don't know what you'd have as a bonus action using the other this mm, I'm not holding the other one never mind I only have one uh, club out because it, it, if I I have um, uh, two weapon fighting so Ooh, when okay. you take the attack action attack with a light melee weapon that you're holding in one hand you can use a bow as a bonus action to hit with the other one okay uh, I didn't know you had that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, I don't have that. So uh, I'm gonna. Can I use my movement? Uh, yeah. Uh, but if you do, you'll probably take an attack of opportunity. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll just stand here then. In my turn. <laughs> All right. Zeus, what's up? Um, Xerxes, uh, turns to, like, look at what's happening, just, like, got control over a horse, like, swings it around, like, to, like, runs to the blocked path, swings around to look over at what's going on, kind of sees the bear is not doing too hot, um, she pulls out her pistol, really like hesitates for a sec does not like the idea of just like shooting some animal but um sees west there like kind of in a pretty vulnerable position and is like doesn't see any other like safe way out of this other than to shoot at it all right, all right. so she tries to do that go on attack That'll definitely hit. Roll damage. Uh, I don't actually think you have to roll damage, I think. Yeah. <laughs> How would you like to do this? Um, aims at 
the base of its neck. Um, she doesn't hunt anymore, but from what she knows and like, and when she used to, um, aiming for an artery or something, she wants to make this quick. All right, uh, you pull the trigger and you watch your bullet fly directly through the neck of this creature. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all of its health. <laughs> that would be its health. <laughs> that's crazy. <All> right. <laughs> its head explodes. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm just going to go for a quick shot. It's, its entire head just plops off. No, I'm... <laughs> uh, you pull the trigger, and it quickly goes through the, the neck. Wes, you hear a loud bang behind you. Um, louder than almost anything you've ever heard before. Past, like, lightning itself. Mm. Um, as... It goes directly through this uh, bear's neck, and it like looks like it's about to try to do one like final stand, and it falls forward onto the ground. Dead. Wes stumbles back, like really, really unsure of what just happened. That's combat. Yeah, you keep going. I just, I can just fucking picture, uh, Zerzi's on a horse, like, bang, like cowboy ass <laughs> style. <laughs> I guess we have three cowboys now. <laughs> Zerzi's like visibly shaken. She looks like almost ill. <laughs> West she goes like, um up to the away. bear that's now down on the ground, and. He, he he kind of holds his hands on the bear's back and just says sorry and and then gets up and leaves and goes back towards the, the other two that was a bit scary it's a big bear what was that I was Let's... just about to ask what is that thing that you have yeah um, Zeus is like holds out the pistol for a sec and like tucks it back into its holster. Uh, so pistols fire on fire, a firearm, ranged weapon. Whoa, mm. scary, loud, like thunder. Cool. Yeah, it was pretty loud. Mm. Wes's ears Looks are like kind of ringing. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got both the horses, which is great. That's awesome. Um, I guess we should follow the one that's down the path, though. Mm. Yeah. Um, do we have to move any more of the trees? Uh, it doesn't hurt to, right? The, the mm -hmm. horse is already, like, shook it up. So he, he has clear out a little bit more. Uh, I'm not going to have you roll for it. Intense music as we, <laughs> as we move for... these logs. And the music's gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, instead, to uh... and you guys are back down the path. Um, this didn't take you as long as it could have. Um, and by. Probably what would be like 7 p.m. Uh, you guys make it to the entrance of the the cave. At least what he says is the entrance of the cave. It, it is right on like the edge of like, uh, you see like just a little bit off in the distance the start of all the the big the mountains, um, particularly the uh, Aramor uh, peaks. Which uh, for you, Wes, this is this is new. You've never seen anything like this, before. really. Whoa. Uh, you you kind of saw it a little bit when you were uh, going through like the back and forth, but you've never been this close uh, to this many mountains, at least. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Uh, you see Regis hop off his horse. Um, around you also, the forest kind of has like faded away into a more plains type of area, uh, little grasslands. Um, 
the sun is set or is currently setting. Um, it's very, very, very nice out. It's starting to get a a, a, a nightly chill. Uh, but Reed just hops off his horse. This should be it. I'm pretty sure. Well, um, I'm good to go in if if you all are. Hmm. A little scary though. How is everyone feeling? Nobody got attacked, but like, yeah. We want to um, take a break. Should we all go around before heading heading in? Mm. <laughs> oh, it, it couldn't hurt. I don't think there's gonna be. It, it might, we might as well check. Okay. So you guys uh, take a look around. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys spent some time looking around the, the general area. We're only in an investigation check. Five. <laughs> Was really thinking about that gun right now. Mm -hmm. It's a really pretty area, Rote West. Real nice. Love the mm -hmm. mountains. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, Zero Seas, you, you take a look around. It doesn't... Nothing weird, right? Uh, there's... There are a few, like, footprints you see that have kind of been, like, engraved into the ground, but they haven't been there for uh, a couple weeks now. Hmm. What kind of like boot prints? Yeah, yeah, but uh, uh, boot prints uh, without any coming out. Mm. Mm. Regis. Ah, uh, yeah. How long ago did you uh, hire those people to clear out this place? Just about like two weeks ago. Mm. And you never saw them afterwards? Oh, no, they just took my money and, and left. <laughs> now, read this. Mm -hmm. No one else could have uh, gone to this game, you don't think? I mean, they might have, like, stumbled across it. Uh, that's what happened when uh, my informant uh, found out about it. But otherwise, no. There are tracks leading in, but none returning, looking about the week old hasn't rained recently. Uh, hmm. Do you uh, recognize? This footprints at all. Let me take a look real quick. And he puts his head right to the footprint. <laughs> That's ridiculously high. Oh no. I, I guess you could say that's a bit familiar. What did you say was in there again? Well, you know, it's like, um, it's, it's worms. It's a worm cave. Worms, yes. Hmm. <sighs> you tell me lizards inside cave. Yeah. Worms. Or, like, li like, worms as in, like, little dragons. Little baby ones. Wes does not know what that is. <laughs> mm. <laughs> he nods his head and pretends to know what you're talking about. <laughs> so he just like pinches at the bridge of her nose. <sighs> Do you know how many could possibly be in there? Um... Not many, I yeah, assume. I mean, how well armored were uh, your friends? 
What'd you ask? How well armored? How well onward? Ar armored. Armored. Sorry. <laughs> the accent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. I mean, they looked pretty good. They were like a Mustai group, and they asked for a lot of, lot of money. Mm -hmm. Did you say it was getting dark? Yeah, it's about 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Um, does it seem like what's inside the cave comes out to get food? Like, at all? Or is there any, any traces of, like, animal tracks as well? Or like ruffled um, up, uh, like broken branches, or anything that would uh, show that something had been like here, animal. <laughs> that's that's tough because um, yeah. I mean, Xerxes like did, did a pretty good like look around. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, no, probably not. It might be wise to rest nearby, wait until morning, and then clear this place out when we all we are all uh, well rested. Mm. It seems as though it might be a bit more difficult than our friend Laton initially. This is all right. But I want to go in uh, well prepared. That does make sense to me. Oh, go set up camp. Scuffles. Oh, to the side. Uh, and he starts setting up uh, camp outside the cave. Wait, I for how far are we from that bear now? Like, pretty far? Pretty far. Pretty yeah. far, okay. No reason. It doesn't matter. Um, seriously, you you see about a uh, ten minutes later after the camp's about pretty much set up, uh, three figures off in the distance. Off in the distance, in like uh, what direction? Near the cave or opposite to it? Uh, if you like. It's like going around the mountains uh, mm -hmm. from a totally different area. Uh, particularly looking at the map, might be from Grace Mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can I like uh, wipe off? the condensation from my glasses like try and get a closer look stand up and as you do that we will end the sessions here here <laughs> <laughs>